Right, for this step, it says to put values that are infinitesimally closer to one from either side of the one. And it says to start with values that are less than one. So that would be values like 0.9. It says to start with 0.9, but then we want to get closer to one, but it still be less than one. So closer than this 0.9, you could do something like 0.99. Okay, and hopefully you can kind of see that we're going from 2.71 to this 2.9701. So we're getting closer to a certain value, but we're going to need to, to, to notice this trend. So let's put 0.999. And okay, as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to what it looks like to be 3. And then just for one more time, I'm going to do 0.9999, just so you can kind of see. Now this is all going to be less than 1. Now we're going to go for, to the other side of this 1, but we're going to be greater than it, but still getting infinitesimally closer to that 1. Now while I'm doing this, I kind of want to show this graph right here. If you notice this 0.9 right here shows up on the graph and then as you're getting closer and closer to that one it gets closer to here and you can kind of see that it's getting closer and closer to this three so besides just looking at this table you can kind of also see this graph right here it's getting closer to the three on the y but now we're going to go greater than this one here so let's do something like 1.1 and then 1.01 now again you can see these points pop up this 1.1 pops up and this 1.01 pop up and you can see here it's going to get closer and closer to this three so i'm going to do 1.001 okay and again it's kind of getting closer and closer to that three it's getting closer and closer to the, this three right here for the y and then i'm going to do one more 1.0001 Okay, so the trend is getting closer to three here, it's getting closer to three here. So you can kind of deduce that your estimate for this limit, for this function up here, this x to the third minus one all over x to the minus one, it's getting closer and closer to three as your x is getting closer and closer to one from both sides. So if you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.